Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. So today I'm going to make a bracelet with all of these. <laughs> these are all from Beadbox Bargains, thanks to Calf. And this, I'm going to use the, either the silver or the quartz. But I'm going, I think I'm leaning towards the quartz. And this is from Art Beads. Let me get everything set up and I will be right back. Okay, so I think I have way too many beads out. But I can't decide if I like it this this way or if I'd rather do two of the bigger ones like that. Then it doesn't seem like there's enough. This way it seems like there's too many. And this way it seems like there's not enough. Well, let's go for the too many. <laughs> See how it works. So, it's going to be a kind of a two-stranded bracelet, sort of. I also don't have an, the exact color seed beads, so I think I'm going to use these or the white ones. These aren't too bad. Like when they're out of the bag, it doesn't look too bad. Color wise, too off. So, what I did forget to do was take those, take the wire out of the package. So, if I use what is out there, down here right now. I'll be using this, this, and this, and this, beadwise from Beadbox Bargain, the clasp from Beadbox Bargains, and then depending on whether I use these or the white, I'll be using either Toho 11O or Miyuki 11O. And one is from Bobby Beads, the other one is from uh, Auntie's Beads, so. I honestly don't know. I haven't decided yet. So what I think I'm going to go for is the quartz, like I said. Maybe. Let's see how that and I also have crimp tubes from Beadbox Bargains, and that's their number. So, let's see what happens. I probably should get some Eidos, although, eh, I'll use those little crystals. Should be fine, I think. I think. All right, let's see. I'm cutting off. Let me see something first. Let's see how these look going through these beads. I can see it. Let's see how the quartz is. I mean the silver. Sorry. <laughs> oh, can you please come off? Thank you. My fingers didn't want to work today. So, either using this, or this. But I have to see how they look between, and of course there's cat hair. I'm probably going to go for this one, the silver. Yeah, you can't see it as much. 
So I'm going to cut off two pieces about nine inches because No, well, you know what? I'm going to go to 10. Just to be on the safe side, because those beads are, these were kind of big, but. I'll, I'll string this up, and then I'll be back and show you what it looks like. You know what I realized? If I said 92.5, I was thinking of a radio station. <laughs> This is 0.925 sterling silver, the color. I'll be back. <laughs> well, scratch that because the crimp tubes I have are not working on this. So, before I can use that, I will have to get more crimp beads or crimp tubes. So why don't I just use Let's try this one. I think this will work. I think it'll work. I'm not sure. I keep pausing you because I only have 32 minutes on my uh, phone to record. So, that being said, I wanted to let you know that I couldn't use the other wire. Um, I don't have the crimp beads for it or beads for it, so it is what it is. I have to use what I have. Hopefully these will work on this. If not, I'll have to try the crimp beads that I have. Thought these would be better, but yeah, it wouldn't hold my crimp. Tried a couple different ways and it would just wouldn't hold it. So, that being said, this actually matches this metal better anyway. <laughs> this wire. Oops. Let's pull you down a little bit. Either it's the wire or it's the combination of the two. aren't really crimping. They'll crimp if I use this part here, which is not, you know, where you're supposed to use them, but that's where they'll crimp. Let's see what happens. I try to round it off now because they did they held it like this but then when I rounded it off on the other wire they came right out so I don't know if it's just the combination No, that's holding. Okay. You're kind of smaller than my crimper, I think. I think that's what the problem is, but when there's a will, there's a way. All right. Now I'll be back when I get it all strung up. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing 
is I'm putting the four millimeter, the six, these, these coin beads, another six, and then I'm going back to the four millimeter and a seed bead because I need that, I need to trim it down to get from the four millimeter into the the two of them into the eight millimeter sorry about the bird um i'm going backwards here here's me talking oh yeah. so like that and then i'm putting an eight millimeter on to both of them so I think I cut off way too much wire, but so this is what I want it to look like, I think. Yeah, that'll work. I got my wires crossed, right? Yep. I think they're wrapped around each other, actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have you really close to my hands. So I'm just going to keep doing that all the way down my bracelet. See, those seed beads aren't too bad. They aren't too far off from that uh, coin bead. Thinking maybe I should use two seed beads. No, if I get it tight enough, it should be okay. All right, I'm gonna do that all the way all the way down, and I'll be back. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this or not because this is a little too long. I might have to take this bead out and start with these and end with those. I don't know. I'll have to see. I guess it depends too on how tight I can get it. So I just put all the beads on the one side. And now I'm just adding the beads to the other side and going through that large, that eight millimeter. I won't be able to really tell until I get it all together because going through that eight millimeter pulls it a little bit tighter than just, you know, having it loose. So. I had way too many beads out. <laughs> I thought so, but. I wasn't really sure. So I don't know if you could do this in a necklace or not. Because you want it to lay like that, you know. So I don't know if it's possible to get it done in a necklace. I don't know why they're twisting like that either. Unless my wires are crossing each other. I don't think so. I don't know, but this is the last one to put on. The last set, so. Ouch, ouch. I'm stabbing myself with a needle. <laughs> Not the brightest crayon in the box at the moment. Come on now. Thank you. The elusive beads. So.
also, if you want to know, I, I mean, depends on what colors that you have yourselves, but this is light gray lined Aqua AB Miyuki. And they pretty, they go pretty well with these. As far as, I mean, like, see how they're very close, but slightly off. Let's see. If I can get that last 8mm bead on. If not, I have to take everything off. too big. Oh yeah, that's way too big for me. So everything has to come off and I will start again. I'm going to leave the 8mm off. I'll be back. That's much better. <laughs> it should fit. Once I get the toggle on it, it should be fine. The other toggle. So what I noticed is that you have to try to make sure that your wires aren't crossing. While you're making it. And when you're going through that eight millimeter. I'll be back. So you know what? That made it actually fit perfect. So I got her done. So I made I did the toggle the, the bar the same way I did the loop. Each side has its own um, crimp tube. And that's what she looks like. Hope you like. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.